Suresh. No, of course, uh, I was very excited uh, uh, to work with her. Say nice things. And uh, I, th I think uh, everything becomes very easy when, when uh, two actors come as actors and, and, and uh, are focused on, on interpreting the lines and getting the best out of each uh, scene that's on paper. And uh, with Deepika, that became really, really easy. Uh, because she brings a lot of realism in her work. And uh, so I was constantly just bouncing off of that, you know. Uh, each line that she says, it is, it is uh, coming from a very, very deep, deep place. And uh, I could tell that this is real. And if I, if I uh, don't maintain that, you know, I might look like I'm overdoing things. So I, I had to make sure that, uh, that I, I'm at that frequency. Uh, and uh, thanks to her, I think all the scenes of Minnie and Patty look extremely vulnerable. They look extremely uh, endearing and very, very real. And uh, there's another little uh, thing that helped me a lot. This is when we were shooting for Sher Khul Gaye. And uh, I had obviously put in a lot of effort in you know, getting the steps right. You didn't. But when I, saw, <laughs> when I saw Deepika doing the same step, I was like, this is looking so effortless, man. Now he's embarrassing. And then I asked her, and you remember this. I remember this. I asked her, Deepika, can you just do your step for me, please? And we are on set, cameras ready. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this until I understand what's going wrong with my step. <laughs> so I asked her to do the step. I saw what she was doing, and then I copied what her style was. Sure. Basically, and I was doing it so badly. That we had no choice that he copies me. You can't say that because everyone has seen the song. Everyone has seen the song and you were there. You were there. Absolutely. I asked her to do the step then I... Because sometimes, uh, you know, you get very lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of it. So I asked her to do the step then I... Because sometimes, you know, you get very lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of it. When I saw them, I said, this is looking effortless. I am going to now change the step a little bit. And do the same thing that she's doing. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. And I was getting lost in the technicality of the step. Enhanced my dance as well. <laughs> so thank you for that again. <laughs> thank you. Very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Rithik was my student. I find it very hard to believe because I never trust anything he says. But having said that, no, he did mention to me, mention this to me when we were. Not once. I find it happened, <laughs> happened I three find times. It's very hard to believe because I think an actor and a dancer of his caliber to say that and the acting bit I'm hearing, I think, for the first time. No, I have you mentioned have this to you before. many, many yes. times. I just don't <laughs> take it seriously. Um, but yes, I think it's, of course, it's always special when you work with someone for the first time. It's also, there's a lot of discovering. You don't know. There's so much expectation. He's probably seen my work. I've seen his work. You always build this expectation in your head about a colleague. And when you go on to set, sometimes it's what you expect, sometimes it's more than what you expect, and sometimes it's just not what you expect. Um, and for me, it's to some extent, I'd heard about this phenomenon of Hrithik Roshan, but I think I experienced it for the first time. So everything that we've all heard about his craft and honesty and you know his process and all of that, it is that and a lot more. And the, lot, uh, the a lot more is what I've experienced after working with him. Um, I don't think I've come across any actor who is so, like there's just, it's, it, he's just only thinking about this all the time. Every line, every, every movement, every, and yet so effortless. Um, and yeah, I think, I think what we were both able to do is just be very honest with each other when the cameras were rolling. And I think mm. it is very, very special when you find an actor, or your, another actor in front of you who can do the same thing. Because otherwise, sometimes it's, it's a little difficult. Uh, and then it makes it fun. It makes it challenging. Then when your director, when your director says you want to do one more take, you look forward to it. Because you never know mm. what is going to come out of it. It's not rehearsed. And that happens often. You work with people because they have a beat and you know exactly this is what, no matter how many times you do it, this is exactly what you're going to get. 
and then you have actors where you never know what to expect so in fact it's really nice to keep trying different things and uh, most importantly i feel like i've learned a lot from him i don't think i've extracted his brain enough i think there was an opportunity because i'm very shy um and so i feel like i'll impose if i ask too many questions but i feel like What? i had that opportunity nonsense and i didn't <laughs> i didn't make the most of it mm. but here is a person i feel like you can just learn so much from him and there are moments where i've asked him questions and learned and observed and i've definitely taken a lot from this as an actor there's a lot that i can share no 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 please <laughs> a lot that i can he's asked me the question <laughs> <laughs> I want to go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, I think Deepika is very right when she says that that you want to go into the mind of Hrithik. You know that this is normal. How does he do this so much? How does he do this for his character, for his character, for his film? Ke liye, यू नो जितनी भी फिल्में की हैं कौन एक एंड मैं इतना भी कह सकता हूँ कि आई बीन वेरी फॉर्चुनेट दैट आई वर्क विद द बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड यू नो एंड फॉर मी टू से दैट आई वुड रेट हिम विद ऑल द यू नो फिनल एक्टर्स आई वर्क विद एंड सिंसियर ऑनेस्ट एंड यू नो एन एक्टर टू द कॉ रितिक कभी कह रहा था कि यू नो आई जस्ट लव एक्टिंग आई जस्ट लव एंड आई वॉन्ट यूज माई स्टार्ट विच दिकॉज दो साइड वेरी ब्यूटिफुली बट लॉन्जिविटी उसी में अगर आप <coughs> सिर्फ दस बारह साल काम करना चाहते हैं तो वो अलग प्रोसेस है अगर आप पचास साल काम करना चाहते हैं या मरते दम तक काम करना चाहते हैं तो आपको ऋतिक रोशन बनना पड़ेगा <laughs> तो यू you नो know, तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि यू you नो know, uh, मैंने uh, बहुत सारे कोस्टास के साथ काम किया बट इतना जेनरस uh, इतना गिविंग इतना ऑनेस्ट मेरे करियर में कोई नहीं आज तक थैंक यू थैंक यू इट्स 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 आई एम सेइंग इट वेरी ऑनेस्टली एंड वेन यू सी द फिल्म ऑल्सो यू विल सी जो भी मैंने सीन्स देखे हैं पूरी फिल्म अब तक जैसे आप लोगों ने देखी है मैंने भी अब तक देखी नहीं है मैं भी जितना भी मैंने शूटिंग में देखी है और जब मैंने थोड़ा बहुत ए डी आर किया डबिंग की यू विल सी यू नो इट्स अ रोल वेरी डिफिकल्ट रोल वेरी टफ रोल एंड इज डन इट वेरी वेरी ऑनेस्टली एंड आई हैव गॉट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लेट मी स्पीक अबाउट दिपिका ऑल्सो इफ यू डोंट माइंड I love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't a part of the question. <laughs> no, but you know, I, 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 you know, why some actors and actresses uh, resonate uh, from Kanya Kumari to Kashmir, and then somewhere you feel that they cross uh, their country, and somewhere they resonate all over the world. कुछ तो बात होती है. ऐसे ही नहीं होता, you know, कि कुछ उनकी उनके डेडिकेशन में उनकी मेहनत उनका काम तो ऊपर वाले ने उन्हें खूबसूरती दी है चेहरा दिया है आवाज़ दी है आ, सब कुछ जो उन्होंने दिया है यू नो यूजिंग इट फुलस्ट एंड एंड ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू डू बेटर एंड रेजिंग द बार एंड ऋतिक ने बिल्कुल सही कहा कि जब उन्हें देखते हैं हम लोग शॉर्ट दे रहे डायलॉग मैं बोल रहा हूँ मगर जब वो रिएक्शन जो मिल रहा है मिनिमल यू नो मिनिमल ज़्यादा नहीं है और वो ज़्यादा नहीं और वो करेक्ट बैलेंस से एंड देन स्टिल कन्वेइंग इट आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट दीपिका इज एंड आई टू सिड यू नो एंड इट्स अ प्लेजर एंड आई यू नो जैसे आप पहली बार कर रहे हैं तो आप दोनों के साथ भी मैं पहली बार काम करता हूँ सो आई वॉज ऑल्सो डिस्कवरिंग यू नो नॉट ओनली एज एक्टर्स बट एज एज पीपल एज एज को एक्टर्स एंड बिल्कुल सही कहा कि ज़्यादा वक्त नहीं मिला क्योंकि हम अपने 
काम में क्योंकि ये इतनी चैलेंजिंग फिल्म थी इतने चैलेंजिंग रोल्स थे और जैसे ही कहा कि एयरफोर्स के बारे में और यू नो आर्म फोर्सेस के बारे में नेशन के बारे में पेट्रोलिज्म के बारे में तो आपकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दस गुना ज़्यादा हो जाती है तो आपकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इतनी होती है कि फिर ये सब वक्त नहीं मिलता है बात करने का बिकॉज आप चाहते हैं कि यार ये वक्त मिला तो लेट्स डू आर बेस्ट तो जितना वक्त था हम लोग यार वहाँ भी जब तेजपुर में तो यू you नो know, जितने भी ऑफिस थे या प्रेप थे या फैमिली के साथ गुजार रहे थे तो ज़्यादा वक्त हमको मिला नहीं बात करने का तो पार्ट टू पार्ट गॉड ऊपर वाला चाय तो जरूर बिल्कुल जरूर होगा तो सिद्ध साहब का ये कहूँगा यू नो ही इज़ डेफिनेटली मेरा सवाल नहीं था सिद्धार्थ मुझे मौका मिला मैं प्लीज नहीं नहीं सर वो मुझे फोन पे बोल देना नहीं नहीं मैं बोलना चाहूँगा कि ही इज़ यू नो इन अ ट्रू सेंस ही इन द स्वीट स्पॉट ऑफ रियलिज्म एंड कमर्शलिज्म एंड आई थिंक दिस इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू बी अ फिल्म वेयर आई एम श्योर यू नो Obviously, it's so much, so much happens when a film releases. But mera, main dil se keh raha hoon ki this will be a film where, uh, when Sid looks back, yar, ye film mein, ye film ki thi maine. You know, I feel <laughs> this you. is something really special you have done, Thank Sid. You. I don't want, I want people to see the film. I want people to see our work and the, the decide. So I don't want to just say too much about it. But I'm really proud and I really, really, sincerely. Uh, been one of my best journeys of my career. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, working oh, as well. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. So I have worked as an assistant while watching you uh, in many films, my dad's films, and uh, I modeled my process of how to get into the film as as an actor by seeing you. Wow. <laughs> um, and I spent what three, four years doing that. uh and i was a very good assistant in fact even now i i love shifting between being i uh, sid's uh, actor and sid's assistant he's the best assistant i've had <laughs> <laughs> i love doing that but as an assistant main aapko dekhta tha i used to learn and then of course whatever happened in the journey ab fighter ke set pe hum log scene kar rahe the in the corridor mm and i had just seen a few scenes of the film and i was uh, on set with you and uh, you know when you tell somebody when you compliment somebody about how well they've done in a scene the the common reaction is oh thank you so much you know that's 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 great i'm so happy thank you but when you win a gold medal at uh, the olympics or when you win the wimbledon something that you have put your entire life and soul and every cell of yourself has gone into us uh, into something and then when you get a compliment no there you feel overwhelmed and you have tears in your eyes so back to the corridor i had just seen a few scenes and i came to you and i told you that ek scene hai film mein which was written on paper as a very aggressive scene it was full of aggression and anger and then i saw what you did and i told you you have interpreted ye, this scene in a entirely different emotional way and what you have done is absolutely taken the film from there to there in that one scene aur jab maine ye baat unse kahi your eyes welled up you had tears in your eyes and i was just watching you aghast like my god this man must have put so much of himself into that one scene that when he is getting to hear that he did well he had tears in his eyes this is after four decades of of doing what he does still to have the power to give that much into a scene that day i again turned into an assistant and i just watched him <laughs> and i said he has tears in his eyes because he did one chota sa scene tha ek and for that he had put in so much that he was he had tears in his eyes and i went to sid and i said this he has sid he still got tears <laughs> to have that kind of i hope to god that i can maintain that kind of power in me to be able to give that much of me like you have amazing
He still has tears in his eyes. <laughs> I think every actor of our generation aspires to be you in the way that you just really your yeah. commitment and just the way you you are every single day. Everyone sees it and everyone aspires to be like that. Acting schools should have a symbol of you. You should make a symbol. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true, really. Laga dena chahiye sa banner, <laughs> symbolic. <laughs> so honestly. Um, like I said, the kind of timing that we had in Pathan, we were coming out. Even if it wasn't that timing, there is nobody, I think I can speak for all filmmakers in this country, nobody, when he's making the film, obviously expects it or wants it. But kabhi koi soch nahi sakta ki hum wo success attain karenge ya wo figures attain karenge. Um, nobody can plan for it. Uh, you can dream, but there's no planning that can go into it and you can achieve it. So it's, uh, it's a lot of luck, it's a lot of love. A lot of effort, obviously. Um, we were all taken by surprise. Everyone. I don't think there's anybody in that team of Pathan uh, that expected that. And uh, we all hoped ki thoda pyar mile hume, aur uh, hume ek soft entry wapis Hindi filmo ki la sake into the hearts of the audience. Ek soft entry. And unhone to Delhi khol diya apna pura mare liye. And uh, that is just the love of the audience. And we didn't expect it. And I'm I think we take the opportunity to thank the audience for that. Um, and now we are the cusp of something very, very special again. And uh, we're just hoping, not for the numbers, we're just hoping that we recognition. We have made a picture of the country, a country picture. It's a very rooted picture. Hai ye. Yes, it's very stylized, hai, but actually it's a very country picture. It's a Hindi picture. Hai ye. And uh, it speaks to the lowest common denominator. And everybody from you know families to the youth to the masses to the elitist there'll be something for everybody in this film and we're just hoping for love numbers will follow in, you know like i said i said this earlier i feel like no nobody makes i don't know i just feel like i know people do but when you make movies for the box office and when you work in reverse you're just not being true to the process and i think that always shows eventually and in the work that we've done before, I know that that has never been the intention. The intention is to tell a beautiful story that the audience is going to connect with, that's going to have a positive impact. Um, and you're going to have a great time while making the movie because the process is as important as, as the, result. The, the result in itself. And I think what makes Fighter even more special is this is our tribute and our thank you to every single fighter out there who puts their life at risk every single day so that we are safe. Absolutely. And so this is our thank you to them. What do White Lotus? You don't know the show, White Lotus? <laughs> He's been very busy. <laughs> I live under a rock, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. It's a great show, you must catch. Thanks for exposing uh, me. Yes, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I told three. Can you tell me? I think uh, <clears throat> I would say thank you for the comparison, uh, and uh, uh, I take it as a compliment when uh, a film uh, that we make here in our country, which is made on a fraction of a budget that they can, primarily because obviously uh, we make it in one language, which is just relegated to one country. They make it in English, which can be exploited worldwide. So they have obviously access to great budgets. We make it really at a, at a fraction of a budget and yet if you're saying we're comparing it to that in terms of its look, I'm very happy. Secondly, when you say trailer dekke aapko laga, I don't think wo right analogy hai kyunki trailer dekke aapko pata chal gaya hoga. It has nothing to do with Top Gun except for the fact ki usme bhi aircraft se yaha pe bhi aircraft se hai. Waise to war and pathan bhi same hai, usme bhi car chase, bike chase, sab same tha, spy tha, spy tha, wo same lagega aapko. Uh, but the 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 uh, similarity ends at those planes. Like I said, ye ek Hindi picture hai, or as we all know now by the trailer, it is inspired by a true incident uh, that happened uh, in 2019 uh, with our armed forces, and uh, that is an incident that obviously I'm sure has angered all of y'all as much as it did to us, and it was a trigger for us to uh, make a film and talk about uh, the might. Uh, and the stand that our country took 
and the might of the forces and what they did and retaliated with. It's somewhere loosely based on that, obviously. And uh, I think if anyone has seen Top Gun knows that there was nothing to do with Top Gun. So uh, the similarity ends there and as far as the character goes of being a rebel or, um, uh, or Shamsher Pathania being that, um, Shamsher Pathania is a character that I think um, is a very brave decision by Rithik to do because it is something unlike he's ever done, ever done. Um, he's uh, never played a character like that who is so real. Uh, the cockiness is very real, it's not larger than life. Uh, Kabir uh, or matter of the fact uh, Rajveer from Bang Bang are so different, are so cinematically larger than life. Patty is someone who could be sitting amongst us and I'm sure there are a lot of cocky people with how they are. Uh, <laughs> not with us but I'm sure with their friends they are. <laughs> so yeah, so he's like one of you guys. He's, uh, he's a common man but yet obviously what he does is so larger than life. He sits in a machine that's that's worth uh, 8,000 crores and, and, and can fly at, at that speed and risk his life every time he sits in that cockpit. Um, that arrogance you will have if you did that. And that is what Patty has. And that, that is what um, I think any character, whether you are uh, in an English film or in a Chinese film, you will have that cockiness or the arrogance because of the things that you ride on every day. You risk your life every day. When you take off, you don't know if you land. The mantra is within the forces when you went there, is that the CEO that is played by uh, Anil sir, uh, he's a commanding officer, tells his boys, take off is an option, landing is mandatory. You have to land back, come back alive. So imagine what lives they live here. How can Patty not have that chip on his shoulder? And that is something that is similar with any pilot worldwide. So that's the only common link I would say. Also in my view, uh, they are not the same at all. <laughs> because uh, in Top Gun, he's a rebel without a cause. That's just his character. Uh, Patty, his arrogance is a force field. He doesn't allow people in because he's going through something. There is a backstory which you discover in the film. So actually, he is not arrogant. He is not a rebel. He is protecting his inner feelings that he doesn't want to expose to people. And that is uh, what ignites the scenes between Mini, Patty. I'm not saying uh, that for friends. a reason that we want you to discover it. Yeah, uh, but correct. you've given a glimpse of it. Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> that ends there. Great well, I'd like you. Uh, I'd, I'd like to just correct that. In this film, which is what uh, Sid was saying, it took time for me to be convinced about Patty, because Patty is not larger than life. The film, film is. is larger than life. I, up until then, was doing these uh, characters which had this emotional arc which was larger than life. But I understood that what Sid is trying to achieve, he's breaking his own mold and uh, constructing a hero, uh, taking aspects of, of me as a person, finding them and putting them together and saying, hey, this is what I want from you as a human, from that human. I've extracted these bits and this is my character. He's not larger than life. He's not Kabir. He's not Pathan. He is just a guy. Of course, of course. Why would I? Why would anyone uh, uh, not uh, hope and dream of uh, uh, you know the scope of our films being as wide as possible? Tell you know, story. Uh, to to say good stories. I have done many such uh, films that where uh, box office was 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 uh, not in the calculation at all. It was just something that hits your heart. And if I find a script that hits my heart, uh, like a Super 30, uh, Kabul, Guzarish, if something hits me, there is, because I'm a slave to my instinct. As actors, we need to be slaves to our instinct. There's no mathematics in that. I think he's been a, such a brave actor, I would, I would interject there, sorry. I mean, someone like him doing, I don't know if I've told you, like a film like Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara. I think to do a three hero film and a film that, um, on paper, would it's such a slice of life film. So he's never chased box office. So I think. See that happening now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm coming to box. that. So I do, I do. I think he's very instinctive that way. I think a, a good story, if it comes his way and it touches if, him, if he doesn't it, think of box office. If it doesn't happen, it'll be sad. Because <laughs> that means we are only sitting as as uh, not as artists, but as uh, mm -hmm. mathematicians and calculating. 
کہ اس سے اتنا آئے گا اس سے اتنا آئے گا لیٹس ڈو دس وہ کبھی ہوتا نہیں وہ کبھی نہیں ہوتا آرٹسٹ کان ڈو دیٹ آرٹسٹ فالو دا ہارٹ ابھی ہم زندہ ہیں So obviously, as you know that this film is an alliance with the Indian Air Force um, and there are a lot of stunts the chopper has done and bits of it, I think if you see the trailer again, you'll see some stunts of it and uh, we can't really disclose much about, about uh, the maneuvers and stuff. So if this was Pathan or War, I think we would have spoken tons about it. But this is, uh, we'll allow you also one more question in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think and then ask. Done. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> But it's actually mm. interesting, the, I think the response is interesting because usually you would have an actor say or a director say this sequence, this, but the fact that we're actually bound by confidentiality in a way because it is so close to reality yeah. is, I think, what makes it really exciting. Yeah. Well, um, you know, thankfully, the uniform no, has some magic here. Yeah. Mm. Every time it reminded me, you know, uh, there are three uniforms I've worn, not uniforms, all of them, but like um, Krish had a, had a cape, a costume. When I wore that, I felt strong. In Laksh, when I used to wear the uniform, it gave me strength. And in Fighter, when I wore the uniform, you, in a second, you feel the responsibility, you feel the weight, you feel the strength. So uniform se jo taqat jo milti hai na, that is uh, very difficult to, to replicate. It just, it is something that is surreal. It, it just, it works. But it's, but it's true. You actually feel the power when you uh, wear that uniform. The specific moment is actually when you zip it up. Yeah. Zack. <laughs> oh. Wear it and when you zip it up, yeah. that feeling is... And when I saw the first time, I said to the suit, are you sure you want to take me? <laughs> وہ بھی ایک کہانی ہے کیا ہوتا نا یہ یونیفارم از سچ اٹس این اوور آل اینڈ اینی اوور آل جو ہے اتنا فٹڈ ہے کہ کہیں پر وہ ہائی لائٹ ہو جاتا ہے گھر کا کھانا کھانا بند کرو یہ جو کھاتے ہیں ہم مجھے دو ہفتے دے بفور آئی ڈو دا کاسٹیوم ٹرائل تین کاسٹیوم ٹرائل کیے پھر بھی میں نے فرسٹ دین آئی کیپٹ آن اینڈ آئی لکڈ آئی تھنک پرفیکٹلی فار دا فار دا یونیفارم آئی تھنک ٹو لاسٹ شیٹ And it's a strange, strange That feeling, man. Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a one piece. <laughs> so you put your hands up, the waist comes here, your cross comes here. It's <laughs> like, how do, yeah, yeah. what, how do I get the perfect fit? <laughs> so, but still, you good. feel extreme, yeah, that, that feeling of pride. No, but you have to be really fit for it. Yeah, you have to be really fit. I mean, hats off to, to all the warriors, air yeah, warriors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah. You. you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an air warrior now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, know, you know, it depends on every, uh, you know, here it was first the physicality and then I internalized it. There are certain roles which you first internalize and then go to the, and then you externalize. So it depends. For uh, <clears throat> animal, it was more internal than the external part of it because I was playing my age. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, there are, like I was just, so... For this, it was first the, the how do I look, the part, you know, the, the walk, the way I speak, the, and then I did all the research I could do for the character. And uh, speaking to the officers, uh, watching, uh, I think every video or every piece of information I could have of all the uh, officers and generals from all over the world, and uh, you know watching them the way they speak and of course i always uh, there's a history because i have also done an army officer uh, in pokar uh, which was a, a very exciting uh, journey but uh, there was one film which i always uh, i kept on watching and i keep on watching since last almost over 50 years and uh, if you all get a chance you must go on youtube and just watch Uh, the film and the actor in it, it was George C. Scott who did Patton. And the film's name was Patton. And that film has always been my inspiration. 
uh, I just loved the film. I just it was the first film which Francis Ford Coppola uh, wrote <coughs> the screenplay and he won the Oscar for that. And uh, that was the turning point of his uh, career in a way. And uh, and, uh, and when I was doing my acting course, uh, the first character improvisation I did was also based on Patton. Uh, and uh, this, because there's a book also, so I read the book and. I kept on seeing the film and again I revisited uh, Patton again and uh, because you see uh, it's, it's, it, this role is you have to get first the, the physicality, the external things and then go deep into it. Uh, so that's, so every film, every character has different process. For a night manager obviously I'm playing the worst man in the world. Um, I've never met a worst man in the world. So how do I do it? What do I do? I can't observe anybody. Because everybody, there's nobody the worst man in the world. So you then, um, to a certain extent, of course, there was a, <coughs> I have to be honest, the, the original itself was brilliant. Um, um, you already did the role, he was brilliant in it, absolutely fantastic in it. I've obviously, I read all his interviews and, and saw a lot of interviews and so obviously there was a reference to the, to my work also. But then I read the book, and uh, he was an arms dealer. So in India you can't you can't say yeah he was an arms dealer. So you go and watch his, <laughs> you know, like mafia becomes easier, mm. you know. But so that was a tricky part. So then you use your imagination also, and you, in a way, fictionalize and see, and you and then of course you rehearse and you rehearse, and you rehearse and you rehearse. And you rehearse, <laughs> and you rehearse, <laughs> and then you write down, and then you find a pitch. And then you have the pitch, and then you say, is it the right pitch? Then you go on the set, and you start speaking the way you rehearsed, and you sound very foolish. And then on the set, again, you do various takes, and then slowly, steadily, you find the correct sur. So that was a different journey. Uh, Balbir Singh was a different journey. And this is a completely different journey. So all three have been very different. So it's been very exciting, as uh, Rithik was saying, that for us, it's, you know, it's we just, for me, it's de-stress. I said, when I'm stressed, I said, what do I do? I said, I'm going to act. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to rehearse. Yeah. <laughs> I must watch, you know, all the interviews and people. So that de-stresses me. Nice. So for me, you know, I, I'll never be, Stress, I could stress actually, I could acting. Calm down. Research, karo. Research, karo. Kuch kaam dekho, kisi your, ka dekho. your first character improvisation was Pat Patton. Yeah. Patton, yeah. yeah. My first character. Was my Patton. first character improvisation in my acting class was <coughs> Ish Shahir ke Zadar logo. Oh, Miri Jang. Kaun kata ki Thakral saab ne sirf Pachatar logo ki hatya ki hai. <laughs> Inki ginti to Pachatar se baad <laughs> jara hai. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, make a problem ke. It was yours. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, that is the reason. Aap Top Gun ki baad rai. Isse Thakral. Isse Desi film ni ho sakti. Isme Rittik Roshan hai. Isme Deepika Padukone hai. Isme Anil Kapoor hai. Usme thai ke. Nahi hai. So, ye to original hai. Correct or not? <laughs> इससे देसी फिल्म क्या हो सकती है? इससे देसी फिल्म आप देख नहीं सकते। <laughs> देसी but classy. That is the mission and fighter. Absolutely. <laughs> so basically, I'll tell you. Um, obviously, I've read that, and um, I think my two bits in that is that a, like I said, it's based on a true incident, and uh, we've also depicted what actually happened in the incident. So it's out there, you know, in public domain. So there's nothing new we've done. And some things that you're talking about that may have offended them, I would just want them, forget anybody else, I would them want, want them to see the film and see the context in which what has happened and what has been said and uh, then react. This is out of context in the trailer, you put lines, if I, if, I, if I play out the whole film like a story to you, then why will you come to the theatre? So I will raise some questions and sparks so that to answer that you will come into the theatre. That's what this has done. It has serviced exactly that motive, and um, I'm 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 actually in a way happy it's done that, and uh, uh, it's made them on people inquisitive. Uh, so come to the theatre; it'll answer all your questions. You'll understand the context of it and the emotion behind it, and you'll be satisfied. Everyone will understand what we are saying. The primary thing I want to reiterate is that, and what has been said in the film, 
is that our war is not against a country it's against terrorism and that is what fighter stands for it's a fight against terrorism not against a particular country and that is emphasized throughout the film so come and see it and you'll get it you know and i think that uh, I think it'll happen. I just think it's a matter of time. I think what happened is post-COVID, I think everyone uh, felt a bit rattled, right? Because it was a new experience that everyone was coming out of. We've never experienced a pandemic. And I feel like pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, so once you come out of a pandemic, I think we made a lot of assumptions about where we're headed. Have things evolved? Yes, they have evolved. but. I think we're I think we're jumping to conclusions very soon about too soon in this journey mm -hmm. about what's working, what's not working, uh, you know, only big budget films. I feel like there's at the end of the day, actors service a script, service a director, and like I always say, I think you need to be true to the process. I'm not doing fighter because because it's a what is the budget of the movie? Uh, because it is directed by me. Yeah. <laughs> I think you invest in stories, you invest in characters, you invest in people, you invest in the journey. Now, if that happens to be a, a 50 crore budget movie or a 25 crore, I'm more than happy to do that. And I've demonstrated by doing that pre-pandemic. Uh, in fact, even post-pandemic, Geraya was one of them. So uh, I'm always open. I've always been that actor. In fact, way, way before, you know, I've done films like they didn't do well, and so we don't remember them. Finding but Fanny also, no? I've done Fa Finding Fanny. I've done uh, Chapak. I've done. I've done Khele Ham Ji Jaan Se. So there are a lot of these movies that you know I've always La been. Uh, La Fung, lots of these movies. Uh, so as an actor, for me personally, I've, I'm, I'm most excited about telling stories, uh, investing in characters. Now, whether that happens to be a 500 crore budget film or a 50 crore, I've never looked at that. Um, I'm interested in telling a story. <clears throat> so I've seen Sid. I've seen Sid as an assistant. Yeah, I remember. I remember him being... He's actually a rebel. <laughs> As, as an assistant, he was... Uh, That's so true. <clears throat> yeah. Say nice things. He's a rebel. Say nice things. Rebel. I've said nice things about you all. <laughs> That's what I saw in him as an assistant. And I really didn't think much of him, to be honest, on the set. He used to, we used to be uh, working and he used to be playing the piano. Uh, we were shooting in a church. So he's playing the piano. Now I know, since then, he's been finding his tunes for his <laughs> film. He used to be stuck on the piano. Dun, ta, da, dun. Uh, <laughs> uh, then I saw him give a speech uh, at, I can't remember Ficky. where it was. Huh? Ficky. Ficky. So I gave a speech and I said, hey. <laughs> he gave a damn good speech. I said, hey, that's interesting. Then I, uh, of course, he came with Bang Bang. And, uh, well, that's history, but mm -hmm. what I see in Sid is, is an incredible, what shall I say, um, he is he's definitely a fighter. Um, he has done so much, uh, his preparedness about Hindi cinema and cinema over the globe. His information, his knowledge, mm. his, his ammunition is so good because knowledge is your ammunition, information. Uh, he's so clued in with our uh, spectrum, our journey, our history of Indian cinema. He knows that so well. Every song, every movie, he's watched everything. So that is his, his, uh, his tank. He's got all the information. So for reference points, he can go to so many places. So that is one. The other is that he is, he is stubborn. Like I think we all are. Mm -hmm. When he wants something, I can't tell you, he, I mean, it's almost uh, borderline funny <laughs> because he's so angry, but he's looking so cute. <laughs> so he's like a mixed breed. 
You know, he's a mixed breed between like a, an Alsatian and a Pomeranian. No, this will travel. So he's got aggression because he wants it to go right. And on set, that's why I always say he needs a, a non-reflective human being. To, to, and which he has on each set. He has some non-reflective human beings, assistants, who just let his aggression just pass because <laughs> what they are seeing is a cute Pomeranian <laughs> being angry. What I'm trying to say is that he is stubborn. He will not stop till the last moment to fix, to get things right, to be perfect. You think I'm a perfectionist? <laughs> Meet Siddhanand. He will not stop and that, I think, is where I completely align with him. Because I know that, that he will not give up. You know, if I have something that I think we need to uh, discuss or fix and there's no time, I know he'll be standing beside me and I will be standing beside him. So that partnership has, has been extremely fruitful and I have seen him grow through those films where I have noticed, uh, I have noticed growth, of course. You know, I've, I've uh, seen his confidence grow as well, which is very important. But I've not seen the humility disappear. <coughs> you know, he's just as humble. He's just as self-aware and he's just as eager to, to find out about himself. Hey, am I right? A am I wrong? There is, there is no ego there. And that just is for me is just the, it's heaven for me. When I'm on set with a director who I can communicate with without any fear, I know he'll be a soldier right till the end. What else do you have to fear as an actor? You can give yourself, you know, you, you can just say, hey, I'm here, man. Uh, guide, lead, I'll follow. And that's, I think, what uh, the best parts of our partnership has been. Thank you, man. I can't say it better than him, but I think if I were to add just one thing to that, I think it's how he does all of it with so much ease. The humility is one aspect, but also when you watch these, when you watch him on set, you'll never imagine that this is the same director who, who's made movies like War and Bang Bang and Pathan and Fighter, because there is an inherent ease in the way, you feel like he's making a rom-com, like he's just... He's in restlessness. <laughs> he's just... He's like this. He's His singing. tongue is almost hanging out. He's talking about something no. else. Oh, I forget this guy. Really, who he I'm an action film director, yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> image. And food. If you ever spend any time with him, you'll wonder how he makes movies because he's only either talking about food or eating. These are the only two things he's doing. But I think just the the ease with which he does what he does is something that I've discovered in this journey. And at that time, he was the only one who was thinking that big. Yeah. I don't think uh, that should be ignored. True. When, when we started, he was the only mind that was thinking beyond. Yeah. You know, he's, he's not okay with uh, giving the audience something that uh, he already knows that they will like. He wants to give them something that will not just be liked, but be surprised by. Which is why he's just pushing the boundaries all, all the time. And what better human to partner with there? Thank you. On stuff like that. So, trust me. <laughs> trust me. It's not easy, first of all, to convince them. Because um, it, it also, honestly, it stems from confidence um, that they have. Um, they're confident of themselves. They're confident of their, of their uh, appearance. Yeah. About how good looking they are. The most. Look at them. The most underconfident. Just look at them. Are being labeled confident. I mean, they do I think, um, like I've said in my in other interviews that you just look at these cameras now. Just see how gorgeous they're looking. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I don't need to do anything. I mean, just roll it at 48 frames. Uh -huh. And make them walk and see how, I just put great music. No, but the truth is that I think we both, if, if I can speak for both of us, I think we can, you can trust Sid yeah. with stuff like that. You can trust him. No, but also, also they work very hard, honestly. I mean, jokes apart, uh, it's not easy <laughs> to look like this. I think they put in a lot of uh, effort and the one word that I would actually use is sacrifice. And there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into looking like this. And, uh, and, and, and they're relentless. They know कि अच्छा ये क्या चीज़ अच्छा ये ये पहनना है overall ये beach पे जाना है ये कपड़े पहनने हैं dance करने के लिए यार 
Look at them. It is like they are like rock. They are like I mean, they are like made. They sculpted. So and that is only a, for you, Sid. Only it's a lot of effort that goes into it. And both of them, both of them. It's not about the size, but it's about size. मैंने कब बोला? मैंने fitness बोला है. Fitness. It's it's the reverse. It's because you trust that he has the right sensibility. and that it's going to be presented in the right way is why then actors like us will make the effort or even allow for that conversation to hmm. even happen you trust the director you trust his aesthetic sense you trust that it it will be presented in the right way hmm. i i want to interject one more thing for anil sir also one very uh, uh, small thing that <laughs> funny thing that he told me he tells me rather again Great amount of sacrifice to look how he looks at his age. Imagine, can you anyone say look, he's forty two? Are you underlining? Does he look like forty two? <laughs> But why are you underlining age? Age. I mean, because you don't he's look forty two. Asking them, does he? Does he <laughs> look forty two? I mean, just look at him. Huh? So the thing is, the sacrifice 45, again 45. extends over here. Forty two, forty five. Forty five. ऐसा मत करें. ब्रबड़ को इतना मत कीचो. इन्होंने एक चीज. इन्होंने एक चीज बोली थी कि I asked him अभी recently sir New Year पे क्या plan है क्या कहाँ जा रहे हो? तो ही सेज यार न्यू ईयर के लिए मैं इज मंत्रा इज दैट ही जस्ट लीव द सिटी ही सिंग सिटी में रहूंगा तो मुझे पार्टीज में जाना पड़ेगा खाना पड़ेगा पीना पड़ेगा ही गोज इन टू अल्थ फार्म फॉर न्यू ईयर ही गोज इन टू अल्थ रिजॉर्ट ही डज योगा my age obviously the holidays will go to uh, <laughs> medical and physical kyunki subah uthe to sab idhar dard ho raha hai udhar dard to ye hota hai sacrifice to look like how they how they do yeah, it's not easy you have to see the film and you have to judge and you have to tell us really but what do you have to say about the classic well i have said this repeatedly and i'll say it again because i will not tire i think the chemistry works uh when uh two actors are coming in as as actors and and bringing realism to the dialogues because sometimes the dialogues can sound like dialogues you know but when i work with her her interpretation and her expression of each dialogue is so real that it pushes me to be even more real so i have been constantly bouncing off of her uh in uh the scenes between patty and minnie and i think that is what is going to create the chemistry that i hope that you uh, discover you never anyway do anything alone you know you're always so i just feel like this whole male female conversation i don't think women can succeed without men and i don't think men can succeed without women so it's not i think we need to rephrase the definition <coughs> of feminism correct hmm. I think I would call it more nationalistic than jingoistic this film and uh, obviously there are certain things that are being viewed out of context and I I'm at, at the cost of being repetitive I would say that watch the film and you'll understand it and uh, jingoism is something that I mean is uh, is uh, 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 is somewhere a matter of perspective um, I call it nationalistic um, these lines actually when you see it in the context of the film is being told to a terrorist that don't keep pushing us um without revealing much is um like i say i think you just watch the film this can uh, unnecessarily spur a lot more controversy which i don't think this film's a uh, uh, goal is this film is a is a happy happy indian film it is a bharati picture hai and i would not want it to get any other kind of attention other than the fact that it's a, it's a patriotic film so watch it with that context i think dipika said i think i just love the answer which she gave and that's what i always believe in that how do you use that to do better films and some films which you believe in or good films good stories it makes it much easier and that's what even sid has done with i feel he is uh, uh, it was a big you know uh, yeah, that he had these successes so he could make fighter the way he wanted it otherwise uh, it would be very difficult for any other filmmaker to make this film because it's real it's authentic it's nationalistic and something which indian audiences have never seen to uske liye kya hota hai ki kabhi aapko ye success milta hai ek ek filmmaker ki tarah ek kalakar ki tarah then how you use it not only professionally but in terms of many other 
ways you know um, um, where to certain extent agar i can speak about i would love to share i you know how i'm you know i'm what i am for so, you know so many years how do i look the way i look what is my fitness uh, uh, dipika has been uh, you know talking about mental illness you know and it's and uh, you know i think it has reached out to many many people who uh, who would be so shy to speak about it and uh, she's gone all out to speak about it so you need <coughs> so that's what it is there are so many of the actors who do that you know and how do you use that stardom and that's what we do for films for stories for personally uh, nationally and uh, like i had the opportunity of traveling all over the world and uh, uh, when i was doing all these films and uh, they were successful films and uh, i met all the filmmakers directors executives studio heads the only thing i spoke about was about india and how talent how so, there's so much of talent i discussed all the filmmakers all the actors i said tum log mujhe acha bol rahe ho i am a good actor there are thousands of actors better than me in india and that's what you do so when you get that opportunity get that platform you go and speak you know about actors about filmmakers about about so many other things i think come and visit rajasthan are kerala ye dekho kerala dekho look at our country yeah. so we just do that we get that opportunity people take us seriously you know so that's what we do yaar hamare tum yahan aa kyu ja rahe ho pure duniya mein travel kar rahe ho hamare hindustan mein sab kuch hai you know and uh, that's what you do and people when we speak thoda sa thoda sa seriously lete hain hum nahi sunte hain sunte hain yeah no of course yeah 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 absolutely yeah. i think uh, if the the scene has to challenge you the role has to challenge you the lines have to challenge you and the more you feel uh, anxious and the more you work hard and harder and harder and that's what you you know and i think a true person who wants to do his best uh, can never never will never find that person you can be confident but never over confident but always trying to raise the bar you know that's what we Uh, we are and that's what we try to do and uh, because we love what we do so uh, you know and we are you know enjoy it have fun with it and um, so every day on the set or every day prepping for it is is the best years of, of your life you know and matter of fact i think usse better kya ho sakta hai that you are in a profession which you are you know you that you love and uh, in that profession you get so much of love uh you know you get to travel you get to meet such beautiful people interact with them and um and um i am what i am you know given a good life and um, and i'm sure i can ask my children my family and my <laughs> friends so i try to you know use that is a better kya ho sakta hai you know and uh, am i right so i'll just add to that uh, <coughs> i think uh, hmm. the first effort really is 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 to how to uh, interpret the lines that are in front of you and uh, to find out how you would say those lines you know to you so you got you have to bring your humanness uh, your experiences uh, and and kind of like uh, merge find that merge where those lines can become you so that's i think the first effort that we all go through uh secondly you know you always have a vision of how you want that character to look you know where he's starting you know where he's going so it's really important where that scene is going to come so that you can uh you know see where in that scene you can enhance the qualities and the characteristics of the character because you're still painting it's in the process of being painted by the end of the film you finally see what that character was finally about so this is the 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 time you get to keep uh keep adding keep adding keep adding keep uh finding uh moments within the scene where you can do something to enhance a quality about that character which is not in the scene but as an actor it's your job to kind of like keep inserting moments and uh, gestures and some nuances that will make you understand what that person is about behind the lines so all of that is actually very uh, it's i i'm very afraid when i'm 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 reading a scene because that's the that's uh something that is unpredictable it is it is something you're always searching for and that search never stops not until the director says cut and he's got that shot us shot ki kahani khatam ab next shot <laughs> so it just goes on and on and on and that's the life 
That's just the life. And the always fear is that you will get better. First of all, uh, I don't uh, attach any value in uh, the shape of your nose or your eyes or your chin. There is absolutely for an actor. There is absolutely uh, there's there's no value in that. I think what is attractive is a mix and the journey of your expressions. You know, when you're expressing something from a, with a, any face, it may be any face in the world, but if it's expressing and taking you through a journey through those those expressions, that what is is what becomes attractive. So it is really not about the position of your eyes and nose and. If we started believing that, oh my God, art would not exist. So I, I really, really think that actors should uh, be very, very confident in uh, in that belief that I will look as attractive as anybody else if I'm expressing correctly, if I'm expressing my soul, if it's coming out there, if I am getting into the depths of this character and taking them through the mystery of what is going on in my mind. That is when they will be engaged, and that is when you will look attractive. So I really feel it's about that.